bit of a curious day today, Paul, and hopefully you can answer some questions for me because we're looking at the ST38 machine, but I go to a lot of Stars customers and I see a lot of kind of banks of tools, like platens of tools, but here we're talking about a sliding head machine, but with turrets. Yeah, this is a machine that's been in the marketplace for some time from Star. This is the ST38. It's a very powerful workhorse, and, you, and you, you're dead right. There's a big difference here, and the fundamental difference is the fact that this machine is configured with three turrets. Now, the idea of it is to give you complete flexibility when you're machining, because when you see these turrets, they can work on, obviously, the front spindle or the back spindle. Is that all synchronised and simultaneous yeah, machining? Yeah, both, both turrets, for example, are on the front spindle. You could be balance turning, so you could be roughing and finishing at the same time. Yeah. Now, some may say, okay, so why the turret configuration? And I'm sure that was probably going to be your next question. Yeah. Well, the answer to that would be you can get a lot more tools on a machine like this. Now, you've got three turrets, all of which have got 10 stations, but you can put more than one tool per station. So if you do the math, yeah, three to 60. 60. 60, that was quick. To, potentially to have uh, 60 tools or more on this machine. So for the more complicated components, that's where you can still finish the part in one or in one hit. Now this is going to be quite tricky for you, Mr. Cameraman, to get down to, but there's two tools here on one station. What about the clearance of those two tools? Well, it's a, it's a good point. I mean, of course, you would you would work with somebody like Star to look at the, the application that you're doing, and they would obviously then specify the right tool for the job. And they would, at that point, at that point in time, look at the clearance between the tools, whereabouts you're going to use the tool in, in, in the operation of the part. But I'm sure with their control software as well, there's lots of things that like you can do offline these days yeah. to ensure that you know, there aren't going to be accidents when you're in the machine. Because when you're using a machine like this, when it's going, there is, there is, there is tools and swarf and coolant flying everywhere or neat mm. cutting all flying everywhere. My, my also, one of the, I've got lots and lots of questions for you, but the size of this, this is a lot bigger than a lot of the other Star machines. Well, it is. I mean, the, the weight of this machine, it's almost seven tonnes, would you believe? Wow. Uh, and it sits in a footprint of, uh, well, I mean, it, you, can, you can see it itself. It's just a couple of metres by just over a metre. Um, but you've also got a lot more power on the spindles on these machines. You've yeah. got a heavier casting. So when, 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 if you went back, you know, two decades ago, you'd look at sliding head machines for small brass components, uh, high volumes of parts. These days, you're talking about aerospace industries, uh, titaniums, inconels, more difficult materials, yeah. the medical sector. Mm. You know, parts that need, that have challenging materials, but you still need to get them off quickly and accurately. Now, for that, you need heavier machines, mm. you need well-built machines, and you need machines that have got, you know, uh, powerful tooling on the turret from a milling side as well as the turning too. We often talk about the fact that these machines are capable of prismatic parts as well. Mm. So, you know, are you, are you going to invest in a big machine like this, making prismatic parts and then bigger parts, or you're going to talk about smaller parts as well? What variety is there? Well, well absolutely. The prismatic part uh, and the argument is a big push from Star. Now, that all comes as, about as a result of the machines becoming bigger, bigger bar diameters, working mm -hmm. from bigger stock material, but also being able to do more capable milling operations, having more powerful turrets, being able to use and adopt new tooling strategies in order to get better metal removal. Um, and of course, you know, designers are designing components and machine tool manufacturers are making machines that can make those parts as easily as possible in one operation. So all the time Star are thinking, you know, what's next? What can How do? can I innovate, evolve my machine in order to make that part in one hit? Because don't, don't get me wrong, skill shortages are a factor around the world. Mm. So the more this machine can do, can the do. more capable this is, mm. the better it is for the customer. And the industries, I think we've almost covered that because you're basically saying, pretty much across any industry. Yeah, I think any industry for this machine. Um, I think that Star are really demonstrating here that there is a solution with a platen, a smaller machine for smaller bar diameters, yep. um, you know, th that require, you know, still complicated parts right the way up to parts that are far more challenging to machine, uh, require, you know, bigger tools, and you know, whether they're in volumes or not, this machine can handle them. And I know they often say about being a solution provider. So is it a case of someone saying, right, I've got all of these applications, I want one machine to be able to do all of this, and how does that work? I mean, yeah, an engineer may have a, an assembly where he's got seven or eight components that make up an assembly. He may come to Star and say, look, there's seven parts here at the moment, I'm making that one over there, that, that one over there, there that one this over one there. here. 
it, you know, it's costing me a fortune to, to, to manage this whole engineering process. Mm. Now, Star have a team of, uh, of production engineers here that could take that assembly and go, well, actually, if you look at an ST38, mm. we can run part one on a Monday and produce 200. Yep. We can run part two on a Tuesday, 200. By the end of the week, you've used just literally one operator, one machine, and that assembly is complete. Now, obviously, it depends on, on the part, yeah. but this is the sort of expertise that Star can offer here from their So you're talking about a mul like multifunctional, huge, hefty, solid machine with the ST38. Absolutely. Real, real big workhorse, a popular machine for manufacturers of all different styles of components. Uh, see more at their website, stargb.com.